I've been making steady progress on the hen house design. It's been very interesting. I've lost count of how many I've made now and then I had cut them up and recycled them. But that's all part of the design process. You need to be a genius to get it right first time. I'm nearly there now though, just waiting for some more hinges to arrive and for the first batch of pieces to be galvanized. So in the meantime, I thought I'd show you some of the exciting developments since the last video. The first difference is that I found a way to lift the timber bulkhead off the ground, which is good for its longevity of course, but it also means I can decorate the bottom edges. All those holes in the panel come in handy for assembly, but only if I'd drawn them in the right place. I think there are 62 holes in this panel. Just imagine trying to get them right with just a tape measure. Ah, oh, the wonders of CNC machines. Thanks, Rob. What an age we live in. So with lots of screws, these become a rigid little box ready for painting. I've always waited for a calm, dry day and painted outside in the past, but now I've knocked up a simple painting booth using some plastic sheet. So we just want to um, hang this on there, please. This on there, well, from which bit? Yeah, this bit. The problem is, the swallows have a nest in that little room, so I can't leave the doors closed for long. The final ones will have three coats of paint. These grip plates are just the right size to grip the mesh tightly in the right position. Together with the indents and the wire, it's all very rigid now. I played around a lot with the wheel mounting brackets and came up with a pair that works so well that the wheel can be activated just by pulling a cord and it's no longer necessary to use the lever. That makes the design much neater. But it did mean that I had to design a little steel plate that can be held tightly in one of the mesh squares that hold the knot in the rope. And that took a few attempts to get right. This is a one and a half millimeter steel. I'll get them galvanized when they're bent to shape. And the last little bends, when they're put in position, should hold them tight. And these are nearly the same, but 
these are for the new handles I replaced the wooden handles from earlier designs with steel pipe so these won't be needed anymore I can only do that because I figured out a simple way for the handles to be secured in place by anyone who buys one of these. These grip blocks just get tightened up from the top with a couple of screws, so I think they'll be perfect. I found some really good clips for holding the two pieces of mesh together and they'll work for the doorway too. You mean me climbing? <laughs> Look at my size and look at the size below. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, I would try. Um, Release your inner chicken there, Tandra. Go on. My inner chicken. Yeah. My inner chicken is smaller than my outer chicken, and my outer chicken is too big <laughs> to fit big. through that hole. Okay. It needs a bigger hole. <laughs> What do you think? It was like a wash peg. Yes. Cool, eh? Yeah, it's nice and easy to do. And the hen couldn't pick it off or anything. A child and should be able to do that. Yeah. And the double doors at the top of the ladder open and close now too. It took a while to figure out that one though. <laughs> I didn't want to use springs or rubber bands because they may not last very long outside so I went for weights and strings and it works satisfyingly open and close and close and open the string is trapped in a simple little cleat I cut these from three millimeter steel but they need to be bent luckily Chris left his squashing machine here so I'm borrowing it to bend them In the latest version, I moved the central roof purlin so the pull string can come out above the middle of the doors and not over to one side, just so it looks neater. And that way I can combine the shutting catch with the cleat so they fit together nicely as a pair. And the latest design also has windows. Because <laughs> why not? So there we are, nearly done. I'm not sure whether to pin the roof down or use glue. Either way would work, I think. And I want to give them a name plate too somewhere, but I'm not sure what that name should be. Feel free to suggest names if you like. So far I've had more than 200. <laughs> I like these ones especially. Hen Barrow, Chicken Coupe, The Wheelie Good Hen Run, Clucker Truck, and the chickshaw, and of course, the wheelbarrow hen run. <laughs>